we're making shaker pockets and I love these because they have a little positive affirmation and they go on the front of your budget binder so let's get started hi guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how I use my brand new fuse tool to make this shaker pocket for my budget binders. I love these shaker pockets and they look so cute in the front of the binders. It shakes around. Okay, so let's get started. So these printouts were just regular paper. I laminated them and to get the proper size, I have a piece of A6 paper from the budget binder. I'm just going to cut around it to fit the size. So now we have the right size to fit in the binder. I'm using these fusible sheets that I got from Amazon. It comes with 10 sheets in it. You're just going to lay this down how you want it. And I'm going to lay another sheet on top of it, like a sandwich. Now we're going to fuse around three of the sides. Just three, and then leave the top open so you can pour the sequence in and the glitter. So I'm going to put this over here close to the edge. Now I have my little ruler. You're supposed to slide it down the center, but I don't like doing that. I can't hardly see. So I'm gonna have to put this here at the bottom. Take my fuse tool. And you're gonna go slowly and press down firmly. And try not to stay in one area too long because it will burn it. Keep your hands straight. There we go. Once it cools a little bit, it's easier to pull off. This is just a placemat from the Dollar Tree. Okay. 
Okay. So again, we're gonna line up the fuse tool. Ruler. Take it down the side. Okay. Do this side. I ordered some bags. I'm gonna try to do some little shaker money gift cards with that. So that's gonna be the next video probably. So take your time. Sometimes it did slide when I first tried to do it yesterday. Okay. Now we have that inside. Now we're gonna cut around the edges. Don't cut that little line, cut outside of it. Save this for another shaker pocket. Okay, now we gotta cut off the bottom. Just trim the top down a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna fill it. Okay, so this is for a lavender budget binder. So I have some purple stars, silver stars, some mixed bag that I got for free. It's something I ordered. Let's put it in a little cup. And I have these. These are like little pearl bubbles. Really for nails, but they're really cute, so I might be using them. I have a little pink glitter. Okay, this is my favorite part. Filling up the little medicine cup with the sequins and the glitter. So we're gonna add some silver stars. And leave the fuse tool on because we gotta seal it up. 
gonna add some purple. A little more purple. Now let's add the next. This has everything in it. Moves, stars, snowflakes, random things. Hearts, flowers, just really cute. Cute stuff in there. Okay. Let's add in the purple little bubbles. I call them bubbles. special now we have some silver because her binder is lavender and holographic vinyl so it's like a silver it's gonna go in they do get stuck to the little thing so I'll wipe it off add a little dash of glitter There we go. Okay, now you're gonna stir. Okay, now let's add that to our shaker pocket. Okay, we're gonna add the sequins to the shaker pocket. I wonder if I should punch my holes in first. You know what, let's punch the holes in first. You're gonna line up the paper and get a hole puncher and punch your holes in. <sighs> it's a little hard to do with this hole puncher, it's old. This was my dad's hole puncher. <laughs> It gets stuck down. I have to pop it back open, but I can't complain. Sorry. Let's continue. So you got your holes punched through. Now I haven't figured out how to make the glitter not out through the holes. I think I'm gonna have to add some double stick tape or something here in the future to make the glitter and stuff not come out the holes when you shake it around. But a little bit does come out. Okay, now for my favorite part, filling up the shaker. So you just want to open the top that you haven't sealed and throw in all of your goodies. The 
Look at me, got cute little hearts on it. You gotta spread the glitter out. Hold it and give it a shake. I eat up my little make today great shakes around, which I love. I don't want it to get stuck at the top because it's static plain. There it is. Now we're going to seal it up. Very cute. Look at all the little stuff it has in it. Rolling around on all the little bubbles. back in the bag okay now we're going to take our fuse tool once again and we're going to just seal the top Okay. Have it all sealed up. We're going to trim it. to the seal line, but not touching it. And there we go. We have our little glitter and sequence positive affirmation shaker card, which is going to go in the front of the budget binders. Glitter all up there. This one I tried to put a fuse line here to stop the glitter and sequence from coming out, but it didn't stick to the laminate that's underneath. So I shall figure out another way. Maybe some decorative washi tape, something like that. So this, let me show you how it goes into the binder and how it looks. I have one here. These are my budget binders. I did a video on how to make them, so please check that out. And your shaker. Get it around. Get it around. <laughs> there it goes. It's going to go in just like this. I think it's a nice touch to the binder. So when you open your your um, budget binder, that's the first thing you see. Shine bright and make today great. So let's add this one in two. Let's see. It does get glitter on the back part, so 
I don't really have a problem with that, but maybe I might try using some sticker paper and uh, instead of regular paper and sticking it down so the glitter doesn't go to the back. Or put some glitter in the back as well. It's always an option. It's very cute. Let's do it a little farther away so you can see. It adds a little something special to my budget binders. You can tell I've been shaking this one <laughs> a lot. They're so much fun. And they're really cute. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Check out my nails. I love them. Bye.